Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Moto G7 Power. Now you can pick this up on Amazon. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one, 200 bucks. Now on a side note, a couple of weeks ago, I did a sponsored video for the Cricut Wireless Moto G7 Super. These are pretty much the same phone. Now in that video, since it was sponsored, I couldn't really give it my full treatment. So I bought one from Amazon, and now we're gonna do the full breakdown. First things first, let's go through all of the specs. Now this phone is unlocked, so it's gonna work on all of your carriers except Sprint. All right, so it's 97% unlocked. <laughs> if you got Sprint, you asked out, everything else, you good to go. Now it comes in three different colors. You got ceramic black, marine blue, and ice violet. For the display, you got a 6.2 inch IPS LCD panel with a resolution of 720 by 1570. Now that's 279 for the PPI Patrol. Now it features Corning and Gorilla Glass 3. You got a plastic back that's scratch resistant and splash resistant. For the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 632 with the Adreno 506 GPU. What does that mean? Budget specs, bro, budget. Now it comes in either three or four gigs of RAM with 32 or 64 gigs of storage and a micro SD card slot for expandable memory up to one terabyte. Now it's running Android 9 VIP, fresh out of the box with the Moto skin on top, basically stock UI. For the camera, on the rear, you got a 12 megapixel lens, that's F2.0, and on the front, you got an eight megapixel F2.2. Now, here's the best thing about this phone, the battery. You got a 5,000 milliamp battery that features fast charge. Now, Moto claims you're gonna get three days of normal use. Now, you also got USB Type-C charging, Bluetooth 4.2, got a fingerprint sensor, and a headphone jack. All right, so all of that for 200 bucks. Let's see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. White Shoes, I love my white calm down. All right, here we go. Moto G7 Power. Let's see, y'all. Uh, 5,000 milliamp battery, 6.2 inch display, Snapdragon 636, two cameras, eight on the front, 12 on the back. All right, so we got the Jack Sparrow on deck. Here we go. Let's open this up. Now, 200 bucks. This is basically a budget phone, but let's see what it is. Now, you got a little case that comes pre installed. Let's pop this off. Okay, there's your fingerprint sensor on the back, your one camera, got your power button, let's see if we got any juice, matter of fact, let's get this uh, display off first, shoo, scoot, scoot, rah, okay, let's see if we got any juice, there it is, okay, let's see what else you get, got your usual books and shit, pluck them, follow them to the side, here's your SIM ejection tool, this is gonna be your micro, uh, your USB Type-C charging cable and your fast charging brick with a Moto logo. Now I'm leaving everything as is because I'm giving this phone away after tonight. On the front, you got your George Jefferson notch. All right, that's nacho cheese, still on deck. Big giant display, lightweight plastic style phone. Now let me grab the uh, Cricut version. Yeah, these are exactly the same. All right, exactly the same. Here's your G7. Okay, basically the same. And your G7 Pro or Plus. Whatever. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to pause the video. I'll drop all my information in. Then we'll breeze through the OS. I'll take some pictures, and we'll talk about this phone a little bit more. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, when I did the Moto G7 Supra, that wasn't a review, that was a sponsored video, which is basically like a commercial. So I couldn't give you my real opinions. But after using this phone all day long, I gotta keep it real with y'all. On a scale of one to 10, the Moto G7 Power is a major go. For 200 bucks, you're getting a nice, clean, simple, smooth Android phone with a big giant battery. Now look, for 200 bucks, you're not getting the Galaxy S10 Plus, so get that out your mind. All right, you're not getting the top of the line specs, you're not getting the latest processor and GPU, you're not getting the ridiculous camera, you're not getting wireless charge, you're not getting none of that. Basically what you're getting is a nice, 
clean, simple, smooth Android phone with a big giant battery. Let's break it down. First things first, build quality. Now the build quality is exactly the same as all of the other G7s. You got a plastic back with Gorilla Glass 3 on the front. Now although it's plastic, it's not that Sony Xperia 10 Plus cheap plastic trash. This is actually more like the Samsung A70 with that glastic feel to it, which is kind of like a mix of glass and plastic. This has a plastic build, but it doesn't feel cheap. And if nobody told you, you might even think it was glass. Let me get a little wipe down. Check this out. So the build quality is pretty good. Now, it's not water resistant, it's splash proof, and it's also scratch resistant. Now, there's a couple of different ways you can open up the phone. You can swipe up, put in your pin and your pattern. You got your fingerprint sensor on the back, which is pretty fast. Works 100% of the time. And you also got face unlock. I'm gonna hit the power button. You see, nothing's happening. Now, look at it. And there it is. Let's do that one more time. Looking away. Now, look at it. Bang, just like that. Pretty good for 200 bucks. Now, like I was saying, Simple, clean, and smooth. No lag on this. Not the fastest and smoothest in the world. It's not a pixel. But for 200 bucks, I really can't complain. Let's go through some of the basics. Now, let me put it on max brightness. Now, it's not the brightest in the world either, but you can see it. <laughs> you can see it. Let's go through the basic toggles. All right, so you got Bluetooth, do not disturb. You got a flashlight, auto rotate. You got your airplane mode. You got screencast. That's a nice little touch. You also got hotspot, you can invert the colors. You got your night light, data saver, and your storage files. Let's go over the settings. Okay, so you got your basic settings. Let's hit moto, you got some moto actions. All right, so you got lift to unlock. So you don't have to press the power button, you can just lift it up and look at it and it'll unlock. You got your media controls, you got your screenshot editor, three finger screenshot, one button navigation. So if you want, you could get rid of those Android buttons on the bottom and use swipe gestures, which I personally hate. You got your flashlight. All right, so let's try this one. Two chops for the flashlight. There it is. Two chops, turn it off. It's a nice little uh, feature right there. You got quick capture, twist your wrist. All right, so this is the flick of the wrist for the camera. That's your world star gesture. All right, so while the display is off, flick of the wrist, and you're good to go. Let's keep it moving. Let's see, you got Swipe the shrink. Now, if this, <laughs> if this display is too big for you, you can just swipe it and use one hand status. Pick up the silence. All right, so you're getting a message, you're getting a phone call. Pick it up and it'll silence the ringtone. And you got flip for do not disturb. So if you activate that, once you flip your phone on the table, it'll automatically be in do not disturb mode. That's your modal actions. You got your modal display. All right, so you got peak display. I'll show you how that works in a second. And you got attentive display. So as long as you're looking at the device, the screen will stay on. Now, peak display, let's see if I got any notifications. Probably not. But if I had a notification, uh, you see that this is your ambient display. So once you pick it up, you're going to get that clock. Now, if I had a notification, I can just hold on it and I'll swipe up. During this video, I'll probably get a notification and we'll check it out. Let's keep it moving. All right, so you got your networks, internet. Now, let's see. Let's go to advanced. You got VPN, private DNS. No NFC. It is what it is. Let's see, uh, connected devices, Bluetooth, that's about it, and screencast. Apps and notifications, we don't need to check that out. Battery. Now, this is one of the biggest things about this phone, the battery. 5,000 milliamps with quick charge. This is the perfect trap phone. And when I say trap phone, I mean a backup phone, a work phone, a scumbag phone, throwaway phone, phone for the kids, phone for your parents, or a nice secondary phone. Say you already got an iPhone and you're looking for just a little cheap Android phone to play around with the Android apps. This is perfect. Now check this out. I got 66% battery left and I've been using this phone all day long. Haven't charged it and I pretty much had it on max brightness. You see I just add, added that little bit of touch at the end but all day was basically on max brightness. This is the phone that you can leave in your car. Moto claims you're gonna get three days worth of normal use. So with my use scumbag status, I'll probably get a day and a half, but that's pretty good for 200 bucks. Now you got adaptive battery. Let's show the battery percentage, why not? Last full charge 181 days ago, crazy. All right, let's just see what else we got. Display, max brightness, you got a nightlight, adaptive brightness, 
Let's go to advanced. Let's see the colors. You got natural, boosted, and saturated. I like it nice and saturated. Why not? Screen size. You got your font size, display size, screen saver, blah, blah, blah. Let's go to storage. Now, this is 64 gigs. All right, now, I didn't even put all my apps in it, but I only use 12. So if this is going to be a throwaway phone, don't put a whole bunch of unnecessary apps on it. Just put the basics. Keep it running nice and smooth. All right, let's see anything else. Let's go to security. Now, you got face unlock. You got your uh, fingerprint sensor. You do have smart lock. All right, so if you got a Bluetooth watch or whatever, you got headphones, well, you want to set up in your office, use your smart lock settings. Let's see anything else. Let's go to uh, blah, blah, blah. Where was we? Accessibility. All right, so if you're hearing impaired or visually impaired, all your accessibility options on deck. Let's see, you got Google services, system, and you got your about. Let's, let's see, uh, blah, blah, blah. Let's hit advance. Android non-VIP. That's pretty much it. All right, so now let's check the web browsing speeds. Go to apple.com. Opening web page. That's pretty fast. Nice and smooth. There's all the pictures. Now, it's running Android 9 VIP, so you got split screen multitasking. So let's do YouTube and Apple at the same time. Hit the video. You can watch your videos and scroll the web at the same time. All right, so let me pull up a video, and this way we can check out the display and listen to the speaker. Got my usual chest one on deck. Here it is. So I'm walking around out here. Look what I just stumbled on. Let me zoom in. Now the speaker's on the top. Not the loudest speaker in the world, but it gets the job done. Let's get some music. Honestly, if you're going to have only one speaker, I prefer it on the top. But it's definitely nice and loud. It'll get the job done. Let's go. Now, let's take a look at the camera. We're going to use the World Star Hip Hop gesture, two flicks of the wrist, opens right up. Now, this is what I meant by simple, clean, and smooth. Look at this camera app. It's basically stock, no surprises. So you got HDR, you got your flash, you got a timer, you got motion photos, and you can switch between auto and manual. Now, if you put it into manual mode, you can change your white balance, change your ISO, change your exposure. Take it back to auto. Now you got a few different shooting modes. You got portrait, spot color, cinema graph, and panoramic. And when you put it in video, you got slow motion, time lapse, and YouTube live. That's basically it. Now let me show you some pictures that I took.
All right, so one more thing I wanted to show y'all. Now, if you don't like the little flimsy case that comes with it, I recommend getting the Ghost Tech Covert 3. Now, this one is gonna run you 15 bucks, and it comes in a couple of different colors. Now, this one is drop tested, non-slip grip, lifetime warranty. So you got your diamond grip, multi-layer technology, and it comes with a tempered glass screen protector. All right, so let's open it up. Got a little card, pluck it, file it to the side. Like I said, comes with a tempered glass screen protector. It's real glass. And here's your case. Now check this one out. You got some nice grips on the side. Let's slap it on. Nice amount of razivity on this one. You got reinforced bumpers. All the cutouts on deck. Scoot, scoot. And it's Slam Boy certified. Now they also make it for all of the G7s. So I got it on my regular G7, got it on the power, and they also make it for the plus and the play. All right, so overall, on a scale of one to 10, I'm giving the Moto G7 Power a major go. For 200 bucks, you really can't complain, and as Bob Barker would say, the price is right. This is a nice, simple, clean, smooth Android phone. Everything works, but most importantly, the battery. 5,000 milliamps, this is gonna be your perfect backup phone, perfect trap phone, perfect for the kids, Perfect for your parents, perfect for your scumbag activities. Anyway, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready, no meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early, hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing, I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Enterprise, Spock here. Spock wanted to beam up. Enterprise out. Energize. Thank <laughs> you.